Good evening and welcome to day 10 of my Champions Over Cancer 90 Day Facebook Live Challenge. Today is National Cancer Survivors Day and I want to wish everyone, hi Mel, I want to wish everyone out there who has, thank you, who has has had cancer and and gotten through it and and people who have been affected by it I want to wish you all a very special and happy day um, I am a breast cancer survivor I um, I was diagnosed um, April of 2011 uh, 10 sorry 10 with um, um, with stage 3A triple negative breast cancer. By the time I got to the OR I had five positive lymph nodes so um, it was a pretty aggressive cancer. I um, was a survivor from the day I was diagnosed until the day that I finished my treatment which was December 31st of 2010 which just so happened to be my birthday. Nice birthday gift, huh? So I was done with my acute therapy and I was deemed therefore a cancer-free patient. But I don't like the word survivor. I know there are people out there who do and everyone has the right to their own opinion but to me survivor, survivorship holds you in the past. It ties you to a diagnosis that you have overcome and and you are more than that. So for me on July, January 1st 2011 I became a champion and with my husband and I we created Champions Over Cancer which is a community. It's a, a network uh, so on social media that we're building to reach out and um, educate people and to help support them and and uh, you know connect them with services if they if they have issues that they need to overcome but let me explain why I did this why it became so passionate to me because I am a registered nurse I work in healthcare, but what I saw on the other side of the bed rail, as I call it, was not what I practice on a daily basis. And that I was very disappointed in the oncology, medical, surgical society's lack of care for better uh, terms, in this population, this 13 million people who have survived cancer in the United States. In the world there are over 30 million survivors and there it's growing every single day and the, the, com there, the communities are supposed to be addressing these issues, issues that each individual may or may not have because just like cancer, just like your therapy um, you know outline was very individual, your your post-acute phase is very very individual. I did not work for 11 months I therefore did not get paid. I lost my job we um, lost our home. We had to short sell our, our home. Our children were um, in their teenage years and you know the innocence is gone and as a parent that that was it was it was very very sad for me and it was sad but I also had to look at myself and fight for myself and that's what the, the definition of a survivor is. The definition of a, a survivor, which is on my business card, on the back, it is a person survivor. A person who continues to 
function in spite of hardships. I was a survivor. I just functioned while I was in acute treatment. But once I once I became once I once I graduated from acute treatment, I did not just want to function anymore. I wanted to move on. I have I had many issues and and I still do that that you have to deal with on a daily basis. But a champion, the definition of a champion is a warrior who fights for life, conti- consistently fights for life with great determination and great courage. And when you are or when you have been a cancer survivor, courage becomes part of your everyday life, just getting out of bed. And so for me, I I do not like to be tied to the past by being called a survivor. I am a champion, and that's what I I wish for all of you is to look at we have a YouTube page, we have a Facebook page, we have a website all champions over cancer you can find it on those social networks the the advent and the growth of social media is so great that we can reach anyone it's it's not like you just you know in in the past when you'd go to your doctor and your local community was all that you had available to you you know a lot of things can be discussed and solved you know, just over on with a live, with a web po- post, or all those things. I'm not that computer savvy, so you'll have to bear with me. Um, but this is this is uh, Champions Over Cancer's mission is to transition survi- a survivor into a champion. Take this gift of this second chance, your new life and dream what what do you want to do who do you want to become you you can do anything anything that you wish or want to do now because every life is laid out in front of you you have gotten through you have survived your acute therapy and now walk through that door shut the past shut it of the past you know, check on it every once in a while in your follow-ups. That's the nurse in me talking. But go forward. Look forward. You have so much to do. Life is it is so beautiful. And I'm sure as a survivor, you understand that because I understand that. The it your the things that are precious become much more obvious. And um you know, the the blue of a sky in the summer when the sun is shining and you feel the warmth on your face, there's nothing like it, you know? And I could go on and on and on with, with explanations and little tidbits like that. But I, I'm not going to do that because I'm sure if I'm speaking to you, then you understand what I'm talking about. So my question to you is that, do you want to just function or do you want to be a warrior? Become a warrior. That's my question to you. You can do anything you want and you just got to go forward into the into the future. I'm sorry, I had to check my notes. Um, where we're celebrating life. You know, I, as a nurse, as a healthcare professional, I take care of people. And that's, you know, when you take care of someone in that kind of setting, you're caring for their life. I have seen births and I have seen deaths. And there is a lot in between. And it's up to you to, t- to decide what you're going to do with it. So I would say to you on this National Day of Celebration, Congratulations. I pat myself too. And check us out. Look us up on you on the YouTube uh, our YouTube page, on our Facebook page, on our website. Send us questions. 
like us, share us, grow this grassroots, I don't know, movement. How's that? Grow this grassroots movement to, to, to push those oncology and, and surgical communities to do more with their survivorship treatment plans because you deserve it. We are a population that is not being addressed at all and we're growing exponentially and they're going to have to deal with us sooner or later and for for the for the we that are here now, let's fight for it. We deserve it. So, again, happy Survivor's Day. I hate I say that word. I have to use that word every once in a while. But I am a champion. I'm a champion over cancer. And I want you to come along with me and be champions. And have fun. You know, that's what I've lacked. Um, when I had... This is a personal story. When I was being treated, um, I had a, a breast navigator who, for those of you, if you're watching that don't know what it is, um, a breast navigator is someone who kind of helps you get through all the different, um, you know, the right path. You know, you do one before two, before three. And she was a friend, she was a nurse, I had worked with her for 20 years, and she was a godsend. Um, and she also ran a support group, for a breast cancer support group. Um, and, and they would just have fun. They would do, you know, these weird things with boas and hats, and, and they'd play games. And, and, you know, you belong to this club that you did not ask to sign up for. You did not ask for this. But you become part of it, to, you know, to the unfortunate. And, but they, be, you know, when you have these people that come together that have been through the same thing that you have been, even just, you know, having a game of cards, there's conversation, there's support, you know, there's, there's kinship. And without you even realize that it's going on. And that's, our society is so isolated at times because we're all working and our family and our friends have you know you know have see you getting better and they drift away and and so you know you end up being very isolated and very very lonely um, you know when when a doctor's appointment or, you know your doctor's visits are your social outings for the week it's very sad trust me been there done that so so if um, we've got to find a way, I've got to find a way to bring fun back into my life, into the lives of others who might be watching this. So that's where we're at today, on Sunday, um, June 4th. And I know that I've been promising an announcement, and um, th so here it is. It, it's a week-to-week um, an announcement because I work different days every week because, you know, I'm a nurse. We're open 24-7, you know, 365 days a year. Sorry, that's dark nurse humor. Um, so this week, st starting this week, for this week, I will be live at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday because I have to work Wednesday and Saturday, so that will be up in the air. You'll just have to watch and wait. And so then, therefore, next Sunday, I will give you the times for the next week, all right? A little tease, um, nothing, nothing like a little anticipation. So I hope that you've all enjoyed my little rant here. Uh, as you could tell, it is um, something that I'm quite passionate about, and I'll get off my soapbox now and wish you all a good evening, um, good health, sleep well, come back and see me tomorrow at 2.30 and follow us, please help us in this, in this movement. And uh, I'll say good night and good night, Melanie, and to everyone else and Melanie, peace.